74. What is the IUPAC nomenclature of the Newman projection shown below? So first, before we name it, let's convert it into a bond line structure. So we need to identify the parent chain. If we count it in this direction, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, we'll get 6 carbons. If we count it in this direction, where 4 is the back carbon, and then 5, 6, 7, that's better. Or we count it like this, 1, 2, 3, the front carbon is 4, back is 5, and then 6, 7, 8. So that is going to give us the longest chain. So we have an 8 carbon chain. Now, carbon 4, let's call this carbon 1, and this is going to be carbon 8. So the Newman projection is between carbons 4 and 5. So here's the bond of rotation, or at least the bond that we're viewing. Now, on carbon 4, we have an ethyl group and a bromine atom. So here's the bromine atom, here's the ethyl group on carbon 4. I'm just going to put ET for ethyl. Now carbon 5, that is behind carbon 4, there's a hydrogen and there's a chlorine atom. So we just need to show the chlorine. Now on carbon 6, we have a methyl group. And then 7, 8. So we got our four groups. We got the methyl group, the ethyl group, the chlorine, and the bromine. So now that we've converted this into a bond, excuse me, a bond line structure, what is the IUPAC nomenclature for that compound? Well, first we need to count it in the right direction. Should we count it from left to right or right to left? So if we count it from left to right, we're going to have, this is going to be carbon 4, 5, and 6. So we have two substituents on 4, so it's going to be 4, 4. We have a chlorine on 5, a methyl on 6. If we count it in the other direction, this is going to be 1, 2, 3, 4, five. So that will give us a methyl on three, a chlorine on four, and the other two groups on five. These fours are the same. We can cross out these fives. Notice that three beats four and five beats six. So going from the right to left is a better way of counting in order to name this compound. So this is going to be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So we have a 3-methyl, a 4-chloro, a 5-bromo, and a 5-ethyl. Now we need to put this in alphabetical order. So it's B, then C, then E, then M. So it's going to be 5-bromo, 4-chloro, 5-ethyl, 3-methyl, octane for an 8-carbon chain. So 5-bromo, 4-chloro, 5-ethyl, 3-methyl, octane. Now, I want to take a moment to let you know that the video that you're currently watching only represents one test question out of the 90 questions that are found in my Organic Chemistry 1 Exam 1 video. So for those of you who want access to the full video, check out the links in the description section below this video. Now, let's get back to the problem. 